yeah, 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 yeah. Eh, 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 yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today with another video. And today I'm going to show you guys how I got these really cute textured nails. But first I want to go ahead and shout out the winner to my giveaway, which is Tatiana Frazier. Please comment down below with your Instagram handle so I can contact you about sending your prize over to you. And thank you so much for entering. If you guys are interested in more giveaways, please stay tuned to my next video because I have a giveaway coming up in that video as well. But let's just get right into the video. I'm going to be trying out some new polishes for you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts and show you guys how to do this nail design. So just keep on watching. Okay, so the polishes I'm going to be using are from I Met the Beauty. And they did send over their artist collection, which is really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it for you guys. And I did receive six polishes. So it did come with directions, of course, on how to apply the polishes and how to get, you know, the best application as possible. And also comes with information on how to get a refund if you're not satisfied and how to enter their buy one, get one free program. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the colors. This one is almost nude and I'm just going to go ahead and swatch them for you guys as well. You guys know that color is right up my alley. Also has haze mint which is a really cool like sage mint color which I actually don't have in my collection so I'm really happy to have. And this one is called Ghost Ranch Fire Brick which is a long name. <laughs> but if you guys can see how pigmented these polishes are, I did only do one coat in. The polish is popping you guys this one is called pearl transparent which is a different color from my collection i think this will work really good for my marble designs and then this one is called blue nudes which is a really nice blue color i can say this is the only color that i would recommend putting two coats because it is pretty sheer but nonetheless a really good color and then my favorite color is this military olive which is just so pretty I'm excited to use it and that's the color I'm going to be using for this video today and then these are all the colors after I cured them again you guys one coat just so good so I went ahead and painted all of my nails using the military olive shade and you guys this is only one coat when I tell you the pigmentation is so good on these polishes again links will be below for you guys so for the design I'm going to start off with my Valentino top coat and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the nails I'm going to be adding the textured design to and I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds because you need to cure it before you put this next step on. So using that same color, the military olive, I'm going to go ahead and just start painting on some squares, not making them neat at all. They're actually pretty crazy looking, <laughs> but it all makes for a really good design. So I'm going to go ahead and paint those on. I know it's pretty hard to see since I'm using the same color to paint that on, but I did try this with using like clear um, top coat, but I like it better when you use the same color. So I'm just again doing some squares, making them a little jagged. And I also want to go ahead up the sides of the nail, like as you guys see me doing now, and paint some more like half squares or half rectangles. Honestly, whatever design you guys want to do, you can do it. Because once you go into this next step, it's going to make it pop and you're really going to be able to see the design that you're doing. I've seen people do this and do flowers. I want to try that next, but no baby steps so I'm gonna go ahead and keep drawing these on and this is what the nail looks like again do not cure it we're gonna go right into some clear acrylic I'm gonna take my glam and glitz clear acrylic and this is kind of ratchet because I'm using a nail clipper <laughs> but that's what I had on hand so you're just going to begin to scoop up the clear acrylic and place it right onto that nail. You want to be sure to cover the entire nail with the clear acrylic so you don't have any shiny spots where you don't want them. So you're going to go ahead and put that on and keep in mind this is only going to stick to the uncured acrylic. The lower base that we cured already, this is not going to stick to it or affect it at all. So this is what it should look like after you have done that. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the other nail for you guys. Again, drawing my oddly shaped squares and it's kind of like i don't know how to describe it alligator possibly <laughs> i don't know it just looks really cool i wanted to do all the nails like this but i ended up just only doing a few of them because i wanted to mix it up and add you know some different style to my nails but yeah i'm just going to go ahead and draw them up the side again filling them in as well and then i'm just going to go right into that clear acrylic and cover the entire nail Thank you. 
So while those nails are curing, I'm going to go and start designing my other nails. So I'm going in with my Model 1's transfer foil glue. And I'm just painting half the nail because I don't want to put transfer foil on the whole nail. So I'm going to go ahead and take my transfer foil from Born Pretty and I'm just going to begin to press it on to that side of the nail. Just to add some cool dimension to the nail, but again, not covering the whole nail. And this is what it looks like. Super easy design, but I just think it added such nice personality to the nail without having to do too much. And then I'm just going to go ahead and apply some top coat to that and just cure it. And it's just super easy. It looks like high end. I tried really hard, but honestly, really easy design. So for the other nails, I'm going to go ahead and top coat those as well. Keep in mind, my textured nails haven't been dusted yet, so that's not their final form, so just keep that in mind. So for my other nails, I'm going to go ahead and add some of my rhinestone glue and add a few stones to the nails, just so that they don't look left out and boring compared to these other nails. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add a gold circle to them as well, just again, just to add something extra to them. So now I'm going to go ahead and dust the nails, and you're going to see that the background of the nails is still popping still shiny and you have that beautiful texture on top i'm obsessed you guys okay and these are the finished nails i am obsessed i still can't believe that there's only one coat of polish streaks where there's no streaks everything just looks nice and pigmented i will have the links down below to eye of method beauty and thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys